Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today I wanted to go over beveling edges. The purpose of beveling edges is that when you have a regular cube like this, and do you see how sharp this 90 degree angle is? Well, the problem is, is when you render it out, it doesn't look very realistic. There's no such thing as a 90 degree angle in real life, so you really need to do what's called beveling an edge, which every object out there has a little bit of a curve right here, so that when the light hits it, you get a nice transition from the top to the other plane. All right, so let me show you how. So it's pretty quick. We're going to go to Edit Mesh, Bevel. And the nice thing about the beveling is that it gives you this little tiny guy right here, and you can play around with it. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my wireframe on Shaded, which is right here. There's a couple of things you can play with. The first one is Fraction. So Fraction is how much of a bevel do you want? Do you want the bevel to be uh, pretty close, or do you want it to be really soft? So um, let's see. So right now... For me, I want this to have just a little bit of a curve, so I'm going to go to 0 0.005. And that might be a little too little, so too small. Let's go ahead and do 0 0.05. So that's a nice beveled edge. But when you look at it, you can see that there's a little bit of a triangle. So, of course, I'm going to try to avoid tries at all counts. So I'm going to go ahead and increase my segments to 2. So right away, you can see, and I'm going to turn this off, that the beveled edge is actually really making this look nice and it actually it makes it look more realistic. Now I highly recommend that you play around with it but basically those are the two options that you want to use. You can go ahead and increase your fraction for example so if you wanted to make it very soft I would recommend that you increase your beveled edge so that it actually gives you a nice uh, transition. Alright let me show you another example. Uh, let's go to Windows Outliner. I have a table. Now I see a lot of new artists think that you can just go over here and then go to Edit Mesh, Bevel, and then there you go, right? You can increase your segments to two, and then you increase your fraction, and this looks great. Well, the issue is, is that you really need to make sure that you select the edges that you want beveled, otherwise it will grab every edge and bevel it, and now you have unnecessary geometry, and it doesn't look good, nor is it efficient. I highly recommend that you always select the edges that you want, and I'll demonstrate. So I'm going to go ahead and undo. Control Z, Control Z. I'm going to go ahead and go to my edges and just start selecting. It takes a little bit longer to do this, but this is the correct way of doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and double click, shift, double click, shift, double click. And let me look around, grab these corners. So basically you just want to grab the edges that need to be beveled. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. Probably all the things at the beneath the floor as well. I think we'll stick to this. All right. So now that I have all my edges selected, same thing. Edit mesh, bevel. Now you can see that the bevel is actually just affecting the edges that I selected, which is exactly what you want. I'm going to go ahead and increase my segments to two. I'm going to increase my uh, fraction just a little bit. Go ahead and go to object mode, and you can see what a nice difference that makes. So you can see how the transition from the top to the side has a nice little highlight right here, which is accurate. All right, it was a really quick tutorial. Hopefully uh, that gives you an idea of how to bevel edges and make your models look even better. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment, and if you guys want to see any videos, any particular videos, uh, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always open to suggestions. All right, guys, I will see you next time.